Uh, you have a pink sheet. This is actually in your packet, but I have it out to make it quicker. You're going to follow step by step. So first thing, artist, I want you to take your paper, fold it. You're going to do it on your table. And you're going to massage. Paper likes to be massaged. Massage and crease. You're going to fold it again. Massage and crease. Check your shoulder, buddy. See how they're doing. There's our scrap paper. Turn it over. Now in this section, artist, you use your pencil. I want you to look, use your artist eyes, okay? And first section is your nose. Right on that line, I want you to draw me a horizontal line. Check your shoulder, buddy. If it's too big, that's okay. You're just practicing. And then it goes up like that. And then see this line here? Right next to this two parallel lines. Maybe you want to have this go a little bit further, you can. Go all the way up, off the paper. And this is abstract face. It is inspired by the artist that we're talking about, um, Pablo Picasso. And the next step that we're ready for is draw number three. Down a little bit of space. You can do a thumb space if you want. You're going to have what looks like a football. So you're going to come here, draw an arch. See how it's right underneath your nose? Doesn't have to be perfect, artist. That's okay. And then we cut it in half. Okay, the next step that we have, artist, halfway down in this section here, I want you to draw with your finger first, think of a football. So I have a rainbow up on this side and go to the same other side and do the same thing, rainbow up. And then underneath, artist, you're drawing with me. We have a rainbow that goes down, a rainbow that goes down. Now my eyes are a little bit bigger than theirs, but that's okay. Next step, we have it says finish the eyes and add the neck. So we want to have parentheses because it's actually covered. There we go. Parentheses. There we go. And then after that, I have a circle. Do not fill it in. Don't worry about that just not, just yet. Uh, the next step, we need the outer part. How did I miss that? Oh, let's go back up here, artist. Right here we have a curve. Let's put this little dot there where the chin is and go up. You can practice with your finger or do it lightly with your pencil. I'm having to draw with my camera stand in here. It's kind of in the way. There we go. And then I have my neck. Straight underneath the pupils is usually where the neck starts. And they have it going straight out, diagonal. Straight out, diagonal. Now remember, this is not my sheet. This is something I found on the internet, but I like to use these step-by-step -step drawings. Next step here, crease underneath the nose, crease underneath the chin. Then it says trace, add color, patterns, and paint. And guess what, artists? We're going to be painting. So this is your first one you can add. If you want, you can put a neckline. This is just your practice. You can put some buttons on here, whatever you want. Maybe you can give yourself some hair. It's up to you. You decide.